this is going to be some extra help for project one for Ivy Tech uh, dealing with a weighted grade book. So first of all, you are asked to create two tables in the same spreadsheet. So first table one. So let's pretend we have homework, quizzes, projects, uh, exam. Let's just say we have a midterm exam. We have a final exam. Um, you're going to put your grades in, right? I like to do things vertically. You could also do this horizontally. It doesn't matter. So let's pretend we have some grades. I'm just going to make up some stuff here. Let's say we have two quizzes, three quizzes. Let's have a, two projects and um, a midterm and a final. Okay, so we have our grades. Now, if we're calculating um, uh, weighted grade, we need category averages. Um, so I like to do my averages at the bottom. So if I type in equals av, you can see the average things pop up. Well, if we click average, that will allow us, um, come on buddy, there we go. Um, and now we can put our, our values in. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a three and drag. So if you click and drag, it'll highlight whatever data you're dragging over. So you can see it now says A3 colon A8. I'm going to hit enter and that gives me the category average. Now I can also then see how I have the plus sign in that bottom right hand corner. I'm going to click there and then drag to the right. This now gives me, and you can see if I click on it, it's going to give me the average for those same reference of cells in that particular column. So I now have category averages in row nine. So that's basically creating the first table. Now table two, you also want that to be in the same spreadsheet. This helps keep things kind of organized. Now again, we're gonna have homework, quizzes, projects, the midterm and the final. You're gonna have um, percentages, right, weights. So let's say that homework is 20%. I'm making these values up at this point because I don't know what it is for real. Um, so that's 55, we'll make this 20, and then 25%. Make sure if you add these together, it equals 100%. And if you just want to double check, if I hit equals sum, okay, so click on that, and then we're, there we go. So we want it so that it has the, the parenthesis there. Again, I'm going to highlight these and hit enter. It should equal 100%. Okay, I, that's great. Ooh, that's not what I want. Now the other ones, so these are the weights and then we have the category averages. Well, we want to use cell references. Everything should be a cell reference. So I'm going to hit equal and this is the homework. So I'm going to click on A9 and hit enter. Um, I don't know. Nope, that doesn't work. You can't do the autofill feature for this, but that's fine because this is not difficult, right? So the quiz average is here, so equals B9. You could also just type in equals C9. You don't have to use um, like click, you can actually just type it in and E9. And you can see when I type in E9, it automatically highlights that cell. So that also kind of gives you a visual. <clears throat> okay, so I hit enter. Now I have the category averages. If you know when we're trying to find a weighted average, we're going to multiply the weights times the category average. So to do that in Excel, we just hit equals and then we multiply, right? So H2 times I2 equals enter. <clears throat> and this is another one where we can click an autofill. <clears throat> now we need to sum. So if I hit equals sum again, because we want to auto sum these, that is my final grade, 73.6666. But in this, you're going to be asked to round. So you want to have it particular here. If we go up to the middle, top up here where it says general, you can see here we have decimals. If I hit one, it extends the decimals. If I hit it the other, it goes. So if it says one decimal place, great. If it says two, oh, sorry, I have to be in that spot. If it says two, you click there. If it says three, you can put it out as many as you need. Now, the purpose of all of this, of using all of these um, cell references, is so that you can use... Um, uh, you can recalculate and play the what if game, right? So this is like your original piece. Now, if you're turning this into me, 
I, this is what I am grading the original. Um, you also would need a grade, right? So this is C, I think it says put it in color. Up in color is under this font up here, so you could change it. Let's make it blue, because that's my favorite color. Um, but anyway, that's the original. You can either play in the original and then turn that in. I sometimes like to highlight the whole thing, copy it. So I just hit control copy. You can also right click and hit copy. And then I like to add a second sheet and hit paste. So it's the exact same thing, right? So sheet one is what I am turning in for my like basic grade. Sheet two is where I'm gonna play the what if game. All right, so what if means, well, what if I got zeros on both of my projects? Well, if you look at this and I hit zero for my project, zero for my project, you can see how it changes. Whoa, C9 becomes a zero because that is my category average. If you go over to I4, category average is zero. That means when I multiply, I get zero. It changes my final grade to a 55.6. So you can see in this particular case, if I don't do my projects, I get a zero. Now you can always do that and then hit edit undo, which is control Z or right click. Uh, is there an undo for, for that? I don't usually right click for undo. The answer to that is no. But up in the left hand, you see this little like backward looking arrow. You can also click on that and it will take you back to your original. Or if you have multiple questions, I've seen students do this in the past, so this is not my original thought. They do like, question one, because you know, on the, the document where you're coming up with your answers, you have different questions. So they'll do like question one, and then they'll do that. And then they'll add another one, and they'll paste the same thing. So if we copy this again, copy, we're gonna paste it in here again, and they're gonna say, okay, this is question two. And question two talks about, well, what if I change the final exam grade? How, I'm gonna make it a 65. Nope, I'm gonna make it a 61. Oh look, that's what I want it to be. And then they have this for question two. So they have references if they need to go back. I don't care how you do it. I'm just giving you some different options because you do have to play the recalculating game for what if. So the big things, I showed you how to auto fill. Um, I showed you how to change color up here in the font section, how to, um, play up here in the general. Now, one other thing I want to point out is some students want to take this average and hit this percent sign, but you'll notice that changes it to a 7,000%. That is not what you want. Okay, so make sure that you do not keep make that a percent because that is not, in fact, a percent. Um, you want to just leave it as is. It's just a value. Whoop, wrong button. Okay, um, well, crap. How do I make that not a percent now? Oh, I change it back to general. Thank you, this was a good learning moment. So you can see up here now it says percentage. If I want it, I just go back to general and then it changes back to my general form. So I can go ahead and um, change it wherever necessary. So that's kind of the key is to really just play around. And if you have any questions about buttons or anything else that you need to know, feel free to shoot me an email. My email for help is info at themenninggroup.com. So feel free to send me an email if you need any additional help.